Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use iMazing to easily transfer all of your apps, messages, system app data, and much more from your old iPhone straight over to a brand new one. Now, if you've never heard of this software before, put simply, it's an iPhone manager where you can securely back up and manage pretty much everything on your phone, which is similar to iTunes, but it also has some added features and is ultimately simpler to use. And with that being said, the software is free to download. And while many of the features are free to use as long as you would like, some of the features, including this one, do require the paid version. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. Before we begin, I would like to be completely upfront that this video was sponsored by iMazing. However, all the opinions in this video are my own, and to begin, it's very simple. Just launch iMazing if you already have it, or visit the link in the description below, which is going to take you straight to their official website. Now from here, just click free download, wait for the download to finish, and once it's done, select it and just follow the installation prompts and install it as you would with pretty much any other software. And once it's installed, you're good to go. From here, just plug in your old iPhone. It may ask you to trust your phone, and if so, just unlock it and tap trust. And for this example, I'm gonna be using an iPhone 8 since I have a bunch of photos, messages, and just a bunch of apps installed on it, and I wanna send them all over to my iPhone 5. Now, once the old phone is plugged in and recognized, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. And this is the homepage of iMazing. And from here, you have several different things that you can do. If you click here, it shows you exactly what features are free to use. Some of the free ones include browsing your phone's files, battery diagnostics, which I actually made a video on, which I'll link in the description down below, as well as the console and a few other useful things. Most notably though, it allows you to securely back up your phone and view those backups with time machine-like snapshots, which is actually one of the main features of iMazing. Now, in addition to this, you can manage all of the apps on your computer, which is nice because let's say you don't have a ton of space on your phone, you can always install those apps, have them on your computer, and install them at a future time onto your phone, which is always nice to have as an option. On top of that, this feature was actually removed from iTunes some time ago, so it's nice to still have that available on iMazing. Now, while you can use the free version as long as you would like, if you frequently use it, then it's worth considering the full version just for those extra added features. And speaking of that, there's three price points for the software, as you can see here. Just keep in mind, though, that they offer 30% off if you're a student. And while it's not for everybody, it's great for those of you who want an easier way to transfer files, while also having access to several extra features when compared to what iTunes has to offer. Overall though, I've found I prefer using this software compared to iTunes simply because I find it to be easier to use. Continuing on with the tutorial, just go ahead and plug in your new phone with a different cable. Once again, trust it if you need to, and then just select your old phone with the data you want transferred. Click right here to transfer to another device, and you'll be greeted with another screen that looks like this. From here, you wanna select your new iPhone, click next, and just choose exactly what you want sent over to your brand new iPhone. Just take a minute to go through and choose exactly what you would like. If your new phone already has some apps, files, etc., on it, and you wanna replace it with all the data from your old phone, just enable erase target devices. That's gonna delete everything off your phone and install everything from your old phone straight over to your brand new one. So it's basically a copy of your old phone. Once you've chosen everything, just press next. Now you may have to disable Find My iPhone, and if so, just head into your phone, tap on settings, select your name, and select your phone at the bottom of the screen. Now once you've done that, you should have an option to disable Find My iPhone. Just make sure that's toggled off, and once it's disabled, you're good to go, and now you can head back to iMazing and simply click transfer. Now once you've done that, it's going to begin to transfer all the files from your old phone straight over to your new one. Now this is going to be done completely by iMazing. You can leave the software alone, and after a few minutes, it should be done, and your device should reboot. Now for me, it took about 10 minutes, but obviously this is going to vary depending on how many files you have installed. But once it's done, you'll be greeted with that familiar iPhone setup screen. At this point, you can go ahead and set up your iPhone as you would with pretty much any other iPhone, except for this time, once your phone is set up, you'll have access to everything you chose to transfer. So at this point, you're basically done. I just wanted to mention one last thing, and this is a potential issue that you could run into, and hopefully none of you encounter it. 
But despite how uncommon it is, I still thought you guys should know what to do if you do run into this issue. In recent versions of iOS, you may run into a signing in error after restoring your device. Now this issue is actually on Apple's server side and also happens when restoring with backups using iTunes. Hopefully it'll be fixed, but if you do run into this issue, it can be fixed simply by setting up your device without using Wi-Fi. Now the idea is, is that by setting up without Wi-Fi, you won't be able to access Apple servers, therefore it won't block you setting up your phone. And once you've done that, you'll be able to use your device just like normal. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, check the link in the description down below for more information on iAmazing. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.